Hello everyone. Welcome to Peculiar Heritage Foundation. This is a non-for-profit organization saddled with the responsibility of raising highly effective and accountable leaders who go about to change their social, economic, and environmental climate of their nation and their world. So, this summer holiday, we have organized a youth summer program which we titled a Four Saturday Youth Program for youths within the ages of 13 to 16. On the 12th of August, we had another series of programs. Yes, we invited Dr. Richard Omidiwura, who also presented to us about leadership, about time management, goal setting, and it was a wonderful experience. Let's also hear him out. Okay, so, uh, most important thing is that it's the phrase all the time. I want to tell you the first now. You wouldn't tell me the first. Are you ready? Okay. Always tell people that I'm a stage on which God acts. You know, God is a German minister. Do you know? Yes. Okay, when he was even planning to create us, I wanted to start the whole movie. He called the, the, the crew. Come together, let's make money in our own image. It's because God is a job. So I'm a stage on which they are. So anything you see me do, that is God doing it. And that's how far I have let go everything to him. Just help me as you feel like. It. Okay? So today we want to just rub our minds on goal setting, leadership skills, time management, and so many other things together. But I want to go this route. We just discuss who are the people that are supposed to be leaders. And there are some people that are meant to be leaders that you say, okay, these are meant to be leaders. Can you tell me? Let's try. It's me and you. Okay, so tell me. Um, those, uh, those people that can direct someone, or that can lead someone to be, to, that can help someone to achieve a good thing, can call them a leader. And you can also call them, you can also say about them that someone that can be a Someone that can set a good example for others. Beautiful. Awesome. Awesome. So do you have siblings? Yes. How many of them? Three. Okay, what did you tell them this morning? Is there something you did or yesterday? Right. Who cooked dinner yesterday? You did. You didn't call any of them to do something. So what did you tell them? I told them that they should be able to bring water, they should be able to do this, they should be able to do that. Good. That is what a leader does. That's what a leader does. The difference there is just like a leader we do everything to just like I'm using this, using the words. A leader will do things that will lead everybody to good end, that will take you to the expected and that will make you achieve something. Why a boss or a manager in the office will just tell you, I doesn't care how you do it, my own is just get it done. Okay? Can tell you anything, but a leader will direct you to take you to a good end. In fact, most times, a leader will not just consider as every rule. For example, if you are telling them to bring water yesterday and it's just because you want to prepare the food for yourself, I will leave you. They will feel bad, but you are preparing the food for everybody to eat. And when you tell them, bring water, bring this, it's because you are trying to have everything to 
everybody eating and make it easy. That is what a leader will be. And that is just to tell you, you have it deep inside you, the potential of a leader. You hundred percent have it. The most important thing is for us to recognize it and be able to do the appropriate thing. Yes, huh? A leader will carry everybody along without saying, I don't care what this is doing, I don't care what this is doing. I'll be able to do it. Now, God has loaded all of us with potentials, great potentials. But many people don't know it. Many people don't realize that. Why is it possible that I am in several places at the same time? And after speaking with her, and I was sitting outside there, Two people called me, two of them for film locations. I had to move in. Have you seen me on the movie before? Have you seen me on the I had movies with Christian movies, Mozart and all the rest. Okay. Now, one called me for August, August um, 30th to 2nd. The other one said from 4th to 10th. And I know, uh, uh, sorry, August 30th to September 2nd, then September 4th to 10th. And I have uh, Abatel, we're shooting Abatel, the other part of Abatel, that will start from that period to for about three weeks. That means from, uh, from even from now, because I just finished praise worship with youth and I ran there. Okay. I placed as a folk at the same time. So, I am, I, know, I am busy till the end. I have Riaza with children's team now, choir and drama. We are starting our conversion of our week. And so I'll be busy from now till the end of September. And at the same time, I am the subdean of my faculty, subdean postgraduates. Subdean is in a faculty, you know you are very good. Yes. In a faculty, the head of that faculty is called Dean. And the people that are next to the Dean. At the something, something on the grade, something for the absolute for the habit. So I do that for the habit. Okay, I am married. I have family to run. At the same time, I have so many other things that I do. I ask myself, how possible that I get them done? And I finish pre worship now. Uh, my son, for son, is ministering in church right now. I use that time to be here. I'm sure when I'm done here, I'm going back because of the, the, the ministration. I told them I'm coming to minister with the youth before going for the other of children. I'll be here for the musical, the uh, instrumentalist yeah, ministration tomorrow morning in the church. You can imagine. So there's so much God has packaged into our body that we find difficult to realize it. Now, when I ask you who a leader is, I am sure when you were giving the, def the definition, you were thinking of maybe somebody. You are not even thinking about yourself. You are in you. Now, when you were describing how you prepared dinner yesterday, you led. It's deep inside us. It's just for us to recognize the deposits of God, the potentials in us. Be able to activate it and use. Okay, now I'm going to. Um, it's, okay, let me let me go, go, open it here. We'll read it together. See, I have so much here that I plan for. Okay, can you solve this, dude? Uh, do you know my twenties? I'm not really. Not really. Okay. If you see this in the exam, what does it look like? If you see this in the exam, what does it look like? It is it easy for you to solve it? If you sit by it, yes, you can do it. Yes, okay, what about this one? Hmm. Ah? Not really. I can I can only try. But if I give you maybe machine uh, like computer, you will use it online or you use uh, calculator, can you try? Because it becomes easier because there's a machine. We build a bit that machine. So now we have two words here. We can do it. You can solve it. It's because you don't believe you can. So 
you need to look at your lessons. When I say, can you do it? Ah, I can try. When I say, okay, if you have a computer or you have a um, uh, calculator, can you do it? Yeah, I can do it. Because you've not believed in what that calculator will do, then yourself. There's so much embedded in you below me that you can give to the world that the world has not seen before. Because you have so much of God's potential inside you. So much of God's potential inside you. Let me tell you a story very really fast. Is this madman in the Bible? The madman lives, sleeps in a better ground, sleeps all around. So you not let madmen are like oh, He's so troubled that at times he takes to and tears his own body. So terrible. And he was prayed for. He was prayed for. And during the prayer, he said, Oh, what the evil spirit in him should go out. So the spirits inside him. They are called legion. Legion means many of them. I said, okay, where should we go? I said they should enter into heart of peace. Yes. You remember the story now. Yes. Do you know the size of a pig? I'm an animal scientist, so I can tell you. An average size of a pig, regular average size would be like 80 kg. We have those that are 150 kg, 200 kg, they are massive enough. Okay. But let's say 80 kg. What is the weight of a man? Between that 80, 70 and maybe 100, right? Yes. Somebody that is huge enough. Okay. So let's say the man is also 80 kg. When the spirit that was living inside him, the evil spirit in him, when they came out, it's not just inside one people. They went into all the pigs, as many as they were. Legion! That's what the Bible process. Legion, plenty of them. They enter into the pigs. And when they enter into the pigs, as big as the pigs were, they're just like, ah, we cannot carry this, so this is too heavy. And they started running blue, 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 and went inside the sea to go and die. But those leeches will live inside one man. You can then imagine what the spirit of a man can carry. Mm. You can imagine if somebody is loaded with the spirit of God, how loaded the person can be. No matter the size of what is coming, the person can carry it. True or false? Mm. If we look at, if evil spirit can sit inside one man, a no evil spirit will not become like Holy Spirit. Eh? Yeah. That he will be making noise and be making him to be tearing himself. I hope plenty there. And the man can carry it. Can you imagine if it's not the spirit of God that is resting in the man? This will be very calm. That is our spirit can carry a lot. A lot. That's why the Bible says, more than I did when Jesus was going, he said, more than I did, you will do. Can you tell me one of the miracles, some of the miracles Jesus performed? And Jesus healed the sick man on the Sabbath day. Jesus healed the sick man? Hmm? Did he open the eyes? No. Did he open people's eye? Yes. Yes. Did he wake up somebody that is dead? Yes. Good. Now, imagine so many things that Jesus did. The Bible now says, if we believe in Him, if we trust in Him, if we follow Him, much more than Jesus did, we will do. I, I mean, if, if we want to just pray, if if size, if the Holy Spirit or the the Spirit inside Jesus is inside you, how will you feel? Tell me, how will you feel? Now, he has said more than what he did in 33 years that he lived, that we can do it. It's to tell us that there's so much potential in what our body can carry. Mind you, 
when God wants to create us, He said, let us create man in our own image. Mm. That means we look like God. If we look like God, that means we have the carrying capacity of what God can carry. Have you heard this yoga before about God? That a little bit can be a jelly. What does it mean? It means somebody who has so much listening here that billions of people can be talking at the same time and you will hear them clearly different. Hear them differently. Have you heard about how many potent God? How many persons God who can be everywhere at the same time? That carry capacity is what we have. You can be the excellent leader the whole world is looking out for. It's deep inside you, baby. It's deep inside you. I have tried as much as possible to unlock small out of my world. I know I'm not there yet. You can do much more. You can do a lot with what God will endow you with. Only in God. He's the only one that can give us our strength and give us the energy to perform what we want to perform. Like I was saying, there are times I think, why am I not tired? You know, I will do so many things at the same time, then I will fear, why am I not tired? You're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something that happened on Thursday, for example, when the youth convention started. I told myself, this is Thursday. I don't want to go to the office because I don't have much to do in the office. So I woke up some minutes past six and after doing the normal house thing, prayer and all the rest, I went outside. I live on one calf land. So I went outside with the mind that I just wanted to go and plant beans. Okay, I planted a lot of things in my house, so you know another part of me. The, the garden I had for most part of this year is what I planted in my compound. I got dressed, okay? There will be so many things. So I planned, okay, let me go and plant beans. In the way, okay, when it's harvest time, I will eat beans without buying beans. So when I got outside, I saw that this particular part that is yet to be cleared. And I need to clear it. I need to plant so I could eat it. We have start planting and I started clearing. I cleared from that time. Till some minutes to 2, 2 p.m. After cleaning, we planted, after planting, we then came inside, cleaned up, and ate breakfast. And I carried the car, everybody entered, came to church for the restoration till night. When I now go to San I was like, ah, why, why am I not tired? I'm supposed to feel, of course, I feel a little body, but it's not like somebody who has walked around the clock like that. Meanwhile, Wednesday, before that Thursday, I had a meeting 10 a.m. and finished 3 p.m. And I started attending to students till around 6.30 before leaving office coming back home. So you can see the hurry. Then I asked myself, why am I not tired? Because God, when, God, when you make God the center of your life and you make God your energy, you will not be tired. Have you heard it before that Jesus was not tired? They go mountain, there are times they will be talking and after Talking all of them are tired, they want to sleep. He will then go on the mountain and pray. If you understand the potential that God has in us and you put it in your body, God is ready to blow out a lot of things in you. That leadership is there and you're able to do it well. You know what it is like? Even when your siblings grow up and say, I know, whatever Antipalumi says is the final. Okay, thank you. I I'm just talking about. Uh, there's so much potential God has kept in us. Once we know how to manage our time, we activate it and we see God doing a lot of things in us. I was talking about that boy, 13 year old boy, that was told about yesterday by a friend, Dr. Ogi, who told me that this 13 year old boy, we, he went to Google it for me to see, is a programmer for Amazon, employed. 13 years. Fast. That's to tell you so much God has put in here. We are the ones that taught computer how to work now. 
Mm. When you want to arrange what computer should think about, that means this thing that we that is inside this case. You know this case. What is inside it? The brain is loaded with so much. That means there's so much God has made in His own image that we can activate and have. When He said it yesterday, you know what came to my mind when I was driving? I was telling myself, that means I've not started. I've not started. There's too much I can do and do for God than what I have started. So much. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, I'm saying it now because the two mommies here know I play saxophone. That was not taught. Something led to something that made me buy it. And after buying it, I said, Holy Spirit, I want to learn this thing, teach me. And I started playing. Play. Okay, are you show me this key? Uh, this is how it is like. Uh, can you show me this? This at the point the people around me said rest now. I said I want to know it. And now to the glory of God, I can put my hand on it and play my time. That means it's here. Right? It's up here. It's because we don't unlock it. If I see another instrument right now. That is different from what I have played before. I will play it. Because God kept it there that I can do. So the potential to be a leader, to be the best the world is looking for, is locked up in you. When you make deep inside you, just wait to bring it out. Manage your time very well. Don't let anything distract you. Then you can do it. Say I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Father? I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. God has kept it so much. All we need to do is to ask the Holy Spirit, help me. I want to do this. I want to do that. Help me to do it. And it will come. Let me tell you one more secret. Then I'll allow you to ask questions. One more secret. My university days. Okay. Um, when I came in, I wanted to do medicine. But I didn't have the opportunity of doing medicine. Because God didn't want me to do medicine. Because when I finished my work, we had a video at Holy Trinity Agrika Church in London. And I remember there are three prophecies that were raised at that time. The three of them are fulfilled already. The last one. Was about the fact that somebody saw me standing this and that and that, and I've seen it happen already. Okay, now I'm in agriculture. I came in, I wanted animal science, I came into animal science. You see, the last time they had somebody had first class was about almost 20 sessions before me. And I told myself I'm going to have So I gave my time out. You know, I just stood in my time management. I had three movements, my room, my class, and fellowship. I was very busy. I was drama coordinator. I was with UCSF. I was class rep. I was president of this and that and that and that is school. Okay. I eventually finished with the first class. And how did they happen? In the exam, my friend who is in Canada now, family world, you see that I mentioned in this. Okay. We read together. We, 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 we read all through every day. Now there is this thing that happens. In the exam, because we pray before we go, I get to hear or see my notes in the exam. That sounds strange. In the exam, when I see the question, at times it's a question that, that is set for our telling. It's a set question for you. Imagine this type of formula. I will have set it for him. Uh, he will solve it. He will set it for me. We will not get to the exam and we will not see the same question. Does that sound strange? Or lecturer will just ask a question and I just close my eyes with the spirit and I will see my note. It, it happened to me nearly all through. And I will see my note because I gave my time to God, I gave my time to my book. Managed to tell me where I read always, it flashes. Oh, I start hearing 
Okay, uh, why are you writing this way? And most times it's the voice of my friend that I hear. Because we've been reading together, I always recite to me using He too says he will hear me correcting him that ah, we should cover him. We should be his son, we should be And that's how Holy Spirit is on. Father, I want to say it's because the Holy Spirit that the lecturer in charge had to call us and tell us the truth. He didn't cheat. No. Said so nobody has scored that eye in that course before since she started teaching. That is what Holy Spirit can do, can unlock it in you. And since that time, it's a covenant I made with God before leaving. As a class check in my final year, I said, from this day, God, let the door of first class be open in this department. Let everybody start having it. If it has happened that it was short since I let him left you, there's maybe one session. The rest, there's always at least even if it's one in the department having first class. The potential is an issue. You can be the best. Now that's an example of what a leader would do. I did not say after me, Aha, I've achieved. I still pray that others will have it. Okay? You must be ready to unlock that thing in you. And God will be in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So I've told you two things in one now. I've mentioned to you, or let me say three things. I've told you who a leader should be and how a leader should behave, the benefits of the needs and the activity of a leader, right? Mm -hmm. I've told you the potentials that God has kept in us. And I've also mentioned to you that in it all, the devil will want you to move on. So you must learn how to manage your time, right? And if you manage your time very well, you'll be able to stay close with God. The devil will be able to rob you. The society will be able to pull you away from who you should be, right? Okay, so do you have any questions for me? And nowadays, some people will say that if you don't know people that is on top, that you can't be a leader, you can't be a great team in the future. Like if you don't have connection with those people that are on top, I don't even really understand it. Okay, good. By first, yeah, now let's do it this way. For me, I agree with them. If you put somebody on top, it's, things will be made easy for you. So, I agree with them. And the person I know top is God. Who is top of all the top? Who <laughs> is on top of all the top? You know the Bible says the art of kings are in his hands, right? And he directs them wherever he is like wind. But do you know who is pushing the wind? Is there somebody somewhere who is pushing the wind? You have to go this way. See, it does blow now this way. You can start to blow this way. Who is pushing it? God. And that's the way it directs the art of king. So I believe it that you should know somebody on top. If you know somebody on top, who is the top of the top? You can imagine if, um, what example should I use now? You want to go and see a commissioner in all your state. Hmm? You want to go and see a commissioner, a commissioner for education. You want to see that, uh, why not buy us these books for this new session? And the person that took you there to go and see who the commissioner is the president. I just say, Governor, President decided to hold your hand and say, Ah, this my daughter has a question for you. Please answer her. What will the commissioner do? If I first jump up, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Anything, sir. Anything, sir. It's done, sir. <laughs> More than what you even ask, I will do it. So, if the connection of the person that is telling the person to do is God, what would the person do? So I believe there is a need for us to have connection on top of it. And it's God. Just have that connection there and it's been done. Very simple. Okay? Yes. So if others are saying it's impossible, you say it is possible. Because with God, all things are possible. possible. So if we think all things are possible, why look other way? Why look at somebody who can fail? You can imagine somebody focusing on a man, this is the person that will help me, and the person dies. Like it happens in the 90s. Mommies are here, they can testify. 
There are some of us that would believe it's only when MKO Abiola gets in that the liberty of Nigeria will happen. But he died. He didn't get there. Did you die? <laughs> we continued. Do you understand? If you look up to a man that this is the person that will help me, what if the person fails? But the, there's a songwriter even in the Bible that says, God never fails. God will never fail. If he tells you, Belumi, I am with you, go and speak, he is with you. Meanwhile, if, it's a man, if a man tells you, or mommy, or even mommy or daddy tells you, ah, Belumi, don't worry, I am with you. What if he's called in the office to come? Will he say, ah, Belumi, um, I will not go to work since I promise I won't be with you. He will quickly go there. That's why I will bring money to pay your school fees, so just hold on and call me. He will leave. But if God says, I am with you, he is with you. So it is good to know somebody at home. Okay? Good. Yes, any other question? Is it possible for a leader to have limitations? Very good. Very, very good. In fact, it is one of the things that dictates who a leader is. How to surmount limitations. There are limitations. Okay, let me use you as an example. What did you cook yesterday, Justin? Rice. Rice. What did you use to eat it? Stew? Yeah. Okay, what is in this stew? Remind me, I'm asking too much. Egg. Egg. What will it be like if that rice, you have coleslaw on the side, you know coleslaw? And you have half chicken <laughs> on that plate. You have to do fresh on that. Beans. You have vegetable. You have beans. The egg is still there. And you have everything you can use to eat it. Will you not like it more? Okay. If you were me, you want your younger ones, your siblings to enjoy it very well. If you have the money, and you want to make them feel good, can you not buy it and do it? But there was no money yesterday to do it. Right? That's the limitation. You will limit it. There's something inside you you really want it to do. You will limit it to have it. Or you won't like it in your table set that way. You won't like it. So you are limited. There's nothing you can do. But as a leader, you still made your siblings feel that is the best meal you can eat right now. In fact, maybe some of them, maybe like to me, say, went back to the play, to the post, to stop another one. Because you made it feel good for them. As a leader, there will always be limitations. But how do you manage the process? Is what makes a leader out of you. That you make people around you feel safe, comfortable with what is available. And anytime you have the capacity of doing what they really want, you still get it done. That is what a leader will do. So there will always be limitations. But as a leader, let me make it sweet for you. For me, if you see my children ask them, we talk about everything in the house. So if you get to my children now and you talk about me being here today, they will tell you where I, will, where I said I will be going, the time I'm going there, what I want to go and talk about there, they will tell me everything. Okay? As a leader, I have made the condition very fine so that if I go and I say I will not be around, they say, no, daddy has come for that thing. Do you understand? There will always be limitations. You just learn how to balance us, carry your followers and mom. You will be able to flow with you. Hmm? If there is no money, mommy, they want to buy something at all. They need something. If one says, ah, that the money you are coming, buy shawarma, they don't buy shawarma. Mm -hmm. Buy shawarma. One of them will respond, ah, ah, I forgot that they told us about what is left in his account yesterday. When he has money, he will do it. Am I the one talking? Mm -hmm. No. That's, That's what a leader will do. If you want to cook something else at home now and there is nothing to use to cook, the siblings, if, you're, if they know about it, they will say, No, our family will have done it, but it's not available. That is what they did. 
Darwin's meditations just led to marriage that time. Okay. Yes. I don't, these people, they don't know me, are we? Eh? There is a way power intoxicates. Okay. So, if you see a leader that pride is setting in and is finding it difficult to lead appropriately or is using it to lot of everybody, do you know who I am? Go and do it right now. There is only one thing that is happening. Is a leader truly? He has the power truly, but he doesn't have God. With God, it is you cannot be proud. Let me give you an example of what happened in the Bible. Hmm? Um, I know maybe in the children's church or somewhere you must have heard people talk about some of the problems that happened with Moses. Okay? One of the things People talk about that it's a big thing was, for example, when water was supposed to come from the rock and not to the stretch your staff to the rock for water to come. And he went there and said, What is wrong with you, this stiff naked human being? Must you always give you water? And decide to do what to the rock? Stop the rock three times. Look at his statement. He has said it like, I want, you want me to be producing water for you all the time. Do you understand? Pride, I mean. Looks like pride. Okay. Now, if you look at this, they talk about what causes done for. Say, well, that's one of the things. I'll be honest. Say, that's one of the things that he did wrong. Ma? I said he did not get to the promised land. That's why he didn't get to the promised land. <coughs> in fact, when he died, the Bible records it that the devil came to fight the angel of God over his body. It's because they are feeling a uh, fire. Do you understand? It's because of pride. Do you understand? It's because of pride. But you know, immediately he saw, he, he, he could trace his step back to God. Lord, I am sorry. We must learn to make God the center of whatever we do. If there's a leader who doesn't have God in it, of course he will misbehave. He will look like his own father. Nobody is standing alone. Right? There's always a father to somebody. There's always a mother to somebody. Even if the person is created just like they do now, they said they want to be creating people in the world to know. Even if they create the person, you will not have a soul. I listen to uh, the first near human dolly made by the whites. Near human, they said 99% silicon. The flesh is feeling like human flesh, behaves like a woman, behaves like a woman in everything, 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 everything. Everything. Thinking, talking, playing, everything like a woman, like a normal human being. And an interviewer was interviewing her. And this and he said, so what do you have everything? What's now the difference between us? You know what the Dolly said? Oh, that thing made my day that day. Made me feel like these guys are not yet there. God is still supreme. He said, the difference we have is that I don't have a soul like you do. That Dolly said, I have the video. The Dolly said, I don't have a soul like you do. I believe that we gained a lot and we've learned something new okay and if you've enjoyed watching this video please like this video share with your friends and also subscribe to our channel to help us grow you never can tell who will find this highly useful who will find this beneficial and who will actually grow just by listening to all of this thank you so much for your time this is chizo adisa the director of peculiar heritage foundation